Hey, happy Monday guys. Just wanted to jump on for a second. I'm um, just enjoying some time outside today. It is uh, a little cool and just really beautiful, breezy. Um, nature is super happy. And I'm so, so grateful for the opportunity to be able to be out here and just get connected and uh, most of all grounded. So I was uh, feeling a, a beautiful message in uh, my my meditation this morning that I hope will be of help to you guys. Um, it was huge help for me this morning. Um, in this time, I'm sure you're feeling uh, pretty overwhelmed and kind of just wondering, you know, what you can do or, or what you should do uh, right now, which is the gift. Um, we, we don't need to do anything other than just uh, be. Uh, there's no more shoulds right shoulds don't really work they just put a lot of pressure and stress on ourselves and make you feel like you're on the hamster wheel just spinning around so what I wanted to talk about today guys was how do we keep it simple um, my message has really been about lifting and empowering others um, to keep it simple and really love on yourself and be present and just uh, be be in the moment and appreciate life more even in these challenging times, you know, how, how do you do that? And so, um, on my journey the last six years, uh, it has been a lot of, you know, ups and downs. Uh, early on, it was a lot of uh, trusting others to show me, to show me a better way, uh, because I had not experienced uh, peace or uh, trust for sure within myself and hadn't really seen results and so that's what I wanted to share was um, by trusting in your own knowing and allowing you know others that maybe have been on a path uh, before you uh, to kind of coach you or, or just encourage you um, is a real blessing because when we have never seen um, progress or healing um, it's really easy to continue to repeat the same um, old patterns and uh, kind of just tap into those thoughts that come so easily that are usually not serving us and so um, it's about creating new and embracing uh, some new thoughts, new pathways, new energies, right? And, and so um, by really starting to do different, uh, keeping it simple, you have an opportunity to start to tap into some of that. And that's, that's what I talk about, uh, you know, the newness, the, the curiosity, the joy that maybe we haven't felt before or at least since we were much younger and so um, by keeping it simple and what I mean by that is really asking yourself um, you know what feels right uh, what feels good um, in a natural state and um, honoring that and loving on yourself through that so for me, um, one of the first things, uh, one of my natural path uh, docs shared with me, which I so appreciate. And again, I was always looking for trouble, uh, making things super complicated. But that's the system I kind of came out of, the traditional system, um, is giving your power away and seeming to kind of find external things that, that you're trying to fix things with. Um, that always felt super complicated and heavy. So what the um, naturopath shared with me was some simple things that um, seemed super foreign but were truly natural um, and very empowering was, uh, yes, spend time outside, get grounded, um, embrace nature, explore, and um, really appreciate the gifts that have been um, a part of our life um, through through earth uh, just appreciate them soak it up and uh, 
of course, uh, music, you know, uh, music that lifts you up, brings you joy. Um, not super loud music where you're just, you know, kind of escaping. Music that connects to your heart. Music that when you listen to it, you just feel uh, joy. You feel an inner peace. Um, so that's super helpful. And um, another one would be uh, drinking water. Water is so healing and so powerful. And it really does help us keep everything moving, um, especially uh, the energy. If our body is moving and flowing, it will do what it needs to do. And for me, I felt super stuck. I did not feel like I was flowing, and I felt a lot of pain. And um, that that's just energy being stuck and needing, needing to move along. And so um, lemon water, um, I drink that all day long. And it is amazing, especially right now when there's so much that is heavy and so much we feel kind of um, out of control with and it does help things continue to flow. Um, cucumber water, super, super beneficial. Um, very yummy and refreshing. Um, so there's so many uh, different ones that uh, he also recommended some teas, um, herbal teas. Uh, I was very familiar with black tea and enjoyed that, but had no idea about herbal teas. And one of my favorites is lemon ginger. Uh, very healing for the immune system, the gut. And uh, it, it, any of those are really good cold or warm, uh, hot, whatever. And so those are some new things I had never explored. And I'm very grateful that he had shared that. Um, laughter. Laughter. So, you know, noticing what you're watching. Um, is it bringing you joy or is it feeding the fear? Uh, what kind of energy are you feeling when you're watching it? And so uh, laughter, a lot of awesome videos out there, right? Uh, kiddo videos, kid videos, um, animal videos, uh, lot, lots of great ones out there that are um, super joy filled, that truly fill you up. So uh, those are a few things. Um, another would be, you know, sitting still and meditating. I was super intimidated by meditating because when I started my uh, journey, I was um, found out in some adrenal issues. Well, you know, that's your fight or flight response. And so um, I was far from grounded. And so uh, sitting was uncomfortable for me. So... Um, you know, keeping it simple and honoring whatever that was for me. So that was spinning outside, barefoot, grounding, um, taking lots of walks, just soaking up the, the healing uh, medicine from nature and uh, the sunshine. I remember um, being told, you know, look at the sun, not directly, but allow the healing and the brightness. Um, I had been avoiding all that. I was very fearful of all that. Because in, in the traditional system, the fear-based system that I had been a part of my whole life, um, it was disempowering. And there was a lot of fear. And so I really was um, uh, just getting back into alignment with what was just uh, the truth for me. The simpleness. So I talk a lot about simpleness. And I think right now... Uh, that's a real gift because we are all feeling um, so much is shaking. Uh, the, the apple cart's been flipped over, right? So that's a really great thing when you're in the healing uh, response. And um, I know for me, um, when, I, when I looked at the external world and I felt it and I kind of, you know, came out of that, um, I know it was not in alignment. So um, I'm not surprised and I actually embrace the fact that uh, the foundation has been um, reset for us. Now it's for us to rebuild it and design it in a more natural way. 
and that's for each person to decide what that's going to look like. I just wanted to share that um, simple, uh, natural, uh, what you were created to be is truly real and it's a gift that we each get to pick up and um, walk in if we choose. And so I wanted to share the message. Um, another thing that came through today was uh, kind of, and I had another beautiful practitioner share this with me that really helped. Um, healing is kind of like, um, you know, a pendulum. And when you are um, out of alignment, as our world has truly been for a long time, uh, the pendulum is going to swing very uh, dramatically to the other side. And when we are working on getting an alignment, um, it doesn't just reset in the middle. It doesn't balance right away. It has to swing um, to the other side first, right? To come back. So when it comes back, it doesn't stop, right? It's going to go to the other side. And so right now we're seeing, okay, uh, things are looking really, you know, rough. There's a lot of rising up. Um, but that is the gift of getting centered, is it does have to swing to the other way. So what do we do in the middle of that? Well, we help it get centered and come back to its truth uh, by each individually getting in our truth and um, getting centered. And collectively, uh, together, we will bring it back to the center. And so, guys, we are way more powerful than we were ever told. Um, go inside, go within. And um, I remember as I was, you know, taking out some things that were not in alignment for me and changing some some um, choices and ways of living. It was super scary because um, I was letting go. I was trusting, um, especially something I had never seen, outcomes, right? And so as I was taking things out and I was letting go, um, I remember very much wanting to just grab back onto them. Even though I knew they were not right for me, I was really scared and frightened. And I feel like that's what's happening for a lot of folks right now is inwardly they may feel like, you know, covering my breath may not be the best thing for me. But I don't know how not to do that when externally I'm being told I need to do that. Um, it's been a long time now, guys. It's been four plus months of a lot of folks um, following the rules and complying and restricting their own breath and breathing in their own air and um, there, there, there's some challenges with that um, especially in this time when it's absolutely gorgeous and the weather is so healing and so needed um, this is our time to reset and um, I was really thinking how important it is that we spend this time really um, building our immune system up and loving on ourselves and trusting in our own ability um, from a whole standpoint. And it's really a call to action to, to start to look to that, especially right now because we're getting ready to go into the colder months and some places already are and immune systems and um, different, you know, challenges come up naturally for folks. Uh, we want to be at our best for that, guys. And so it's not to create any fear. It's just sparking some, some thought within. Okay, um, how can I do that? Well, honor yourself. Honor your truth. And know that you do have a voice and you do have the power to do what's best for you um, and, and only you can figure out what that is but uh, keeping it simple and 
doing what's best for you so you can serve and be your best um, is, is what we're called to do. It's just a choice of when and how you want to do that. And so I'm just giving a, a few suggestions um, that are very powerful and very um, empowering for your own immune, immune system. Um, vitamin C uh, is very beneficial um, and vitamin D is very beneficial and that comes from our sun and going into the winter months you know we're going to want to to supplement some of that uh, we're also a part of uh, some category creating um, properties uh, called activation natural activation um, some some uh, true gifts to empower our bodies to uh, do what they were designed to do um, to the best of their ability in their natural state and so just think think about keeping it simple guys and ask yourself as you're being told different things um, does this make sense is this honoring me is it honoring um, our our God our creator and what he created and that's really what I live by now. And um, I, I really do feel like um, the healing journey has been uh, just unbelievably powerful. And um, it, it is always evolving. And uh, the greatest gift is every day we are given choices and we get to walk in our truth in those choices. Um, and sometimes, you know, we forget. And when we feel like, hmm, this doesn't feel right, it's a great opportunity to go in and ask, okay, what, what's my choices here? What, what, what is best for me? Um, and know that as a collective, we can all do this. And um, the world's going to be a much brighter place. And so all that we're seeing on the outside, just know the pendulum has swung, and it looks really, um, really challenging. Um, sometimes a little fearful, right? Uh, a lot of a lot of energy and emotions going on. But each person is doing their very best, and know that true healing and um, getting to uh, our true state, uh, we have to go through this. And so individually, we get to do this too. So externally, there's a lot we want to judge and fix and, and have opinions about. Um, but know that it's within us to do it individually. And it will all add up. And it will come together. And it will be amazing. Uh, so I'm here, guys, if you need anything. Um, if you need any encouragement or suggestions or support on any natural tools um, that you would like to get more centered and get back to your more natural state um, in this time and for our future I would love to be on that journey with you um, got some neat things um, developing uh, that we're going to be um, sharing soon uh, so I'm super excited about that and super grateful so, guys, uh, let's just keep creating, um, keep living, and supporting each other. Uh, very, very grateful. So, uh, getting a little cloudy around here, so I think I'm going to go for a quick walk. And uh, prayers for everybody. Love y'all. Keep, keep looking up. That's where it all is. Take care.